The Leander Independent School District says 8,000 new students could enroll in the next five years, so it's weighing a November school bond election. A subcommittee has put together a list of needs that adds up to one and a half billion dollars. A separate committee is currently working on condensing that number. KXAN's Caitlin Carmoot has more on the process to find out what's important and what's not. One of the biggest recommendations by Leander's subcommittee are renovations to school playgrounds, making them much more accessible for children of all ages and abilities. If I have a special needs child, um, it's especially important to me that he's able to get out and use the playground equipment. Bethany Burnham, a Leander ISD parent of three, was on the school bond subcommittee made up of more than 150 community members who put together a list of $1.5 billion worth of new construction, technology, and current school renovation projects. $1.5 billion we knew was never going to be actually what got put in the bond. Um, we don't have the current bond capacity um, within our current debt management structure to, to withstand that. What is in the bond capacity, according to Leander ISD, could be anywhere from 600 million to a billion dollars without raising the current tax rate. Among the list of ideas are building five new elementary schools, a middle school, new buildings at the high school level, and a new transportation facility. There's much parsing out to do. From here, a steering committee appointed by the Board of Trustees and Administration will spend the next four to six weeks reviewing the projects. Ultimately, the steering committee would need to pass off a recommendation to our Board of Trustees they're the sole group that can call for a bond election. Caitlin Carmo, KXAN News. A decision to call the November bond election would have to happen by August 6th. The last time voters approved a Leander ISD bond was 2017. A committee was able to get it down from about a billion dollars to $454 million. More than half of the money will address the district's growth by purchasing land for schools and campus construction. Crews will break ground on the final school included in the bond, an elementary school in Leander's Bryson neighborhood. It'll open in August of next year. And the last time a $1 billion bond was passed in Central Texas was when the Austin ISD did it in 2017. It was the largest bond proposal in the district's history. It affected almost every school in the Austin ISD.